Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with Fousey there. It looks oh. like oh. big overhand right. Nate Wyatt seems to be leaving Paige his head at a level that's easy to connect. He yeah. is, and that's the thing. You don't want to have your head in one spot. It's not about where it is. It's about moving it out of one spot. And he's he's coming in and he's freezing in front of his opponent. And that's where the experience comes in. He doesn't quite have that head movement experience to know. It's harder to hit a moving target. Nate Wyatt just covering up, and if you're going to do that repeatedly, King, you're just going to get hit over and over and over again. I know he has the height advantage. Uh, you know, why get down to that level? I mean, I'm not an expert, but I want it. They're tying up quite a bit here, and it is a good break, right? In boxing, if you're getting lit up, grabbing on your opponent, you get that one second to where the fight gets to reset. You can kind of see on our screen that it has started to rain lightly here in Miami. And the ring is covered. And I doubt that many of the almost 15,000 fans here tonight don't welcome this rain just a little bit. No, it is hot here and the rain is welcome to cool us off. It's so hot. It's pouring outside and they're pouring punches in this ring. Amazing. Winding up, dropping the hammer. Good, good showing out of both of them. A lot, and they're all here. Almost 15,000 fans have shown up here at Hard Rock Stadium, the site of the Super Bowl two years ago, when the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes knocked off the San Francisco 49ers right here on this oh, very field. And now, DDG! Wyatt was sticking his double jab out there pretty well, but he just wasn't able to get his head out of the way after he throws his punches. Right, that head position. He's got to get out of in front of the punches. The first 88 count of this fight. And Nate White has, White has got to start moving around, guys. It just, he's, he's becoming a very stationary target. DDG is not letting him rest, just rushing, 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 even after the last clinch, getting one in. Oh! And DDG continues to kind of just set up that big right hand page and launch from halfway across the ring. Yes, he is. And then DDG, he's, you know, he, he keeps getting in these tie-ups, and that's because Wyatt keeps ducking his head extremely low, right? That's not a problem with DDG locking up his head. That's a problem with Wyatt ducking his head too low. 45 seconds to go here in round number three. So far, it has been all Keem and DDG. Yeah, now you can see the ref getting frustrated. Like, come on, guys, let's, let's, there it is. They're both exhausted. They're throwing their one punch, getting tired, locking up. It is amazing how quickly the trash talking stops when you're gassed to the gills. Right. It does. And then you see them kind of closing their eyes on these punches and throwing with full authority, <laughs> hoping that they land. But you got to keep those eyes open. Punches and bunches, set your shots up if you want to finish tonight. All right, it looks like we will see a fourth round here between Nate Wyatt of TikTok, and he just covers up. Yeah, and that's the reason I feel like they have these two-minute rounds for these guys. It's, you can train as hard as you can. It's good for them to have these two-minute rounds. Could you imagine three minutes of action? Uh, Paige, the answer would be no. No, I cannot. Yes. <laughs> you saw Nate Wyatt kind of glance up at the clock. Right. That is a telltale side team in the fighting world. Is it over yet? Yeah, he's trying to survive, obviously. I think he knows kind of how this is playing out. A lot of defense, not much offense. 
Yeah, and that's the thing. I really do. I, I want DDG to start going backwards. Lead Wyatt to him, and he's going to be able to connect a little bit better and not have the... Very good point. All right, here we go. I Our know, fifth and talks. final round. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, that's a great point, too. The check clears. All right, does Nate Wyatt have anything left for DDG? Oh, beautiful overhand right. That Wyatt. is... Wyatt looks a little uncomfortable with that shot. Ducking his head, he continues to turn his... He continue, Wyatt continues to turn his head away, and that's why he keeps getting caught with these back-of-the-head shots, as he's saying. <laughs> the referee is pretty much had it at this yes, point. Yes, he has had it. Look at him. Stop tying up, guys. <laughs> and that's just sure exhaustion, right? At this point, they got enough energy to throw one power punch, and then they got to hold on for dear life. The referee kind of reminds me of a a nightclub security guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? He's just like, all right, you two. Absolutely. Stop. <laughs> Where do we get these big refs? Right? We got him, we got Big John McCarthy. These refs absolutely need someone big like this in this situation. These are not experienced, uh, you know, boxers. They haven't had boxing matches before. You know, they're not going to listen. You need someone that will make them listen. <laughs> Inside of 40 seconds now, round number five. Each fight tonight scheduled for five round, two-minute rounds. Still to come tonight, our main event, Austin McBroom of YouTube and Bryce Hall of TikTok. Well, you got to hand it to Nate. I mean, I didn't think he was going to survive this. He absolutely did. And that's the thing is he took a lot of punches, a lot more damage than I think he anticipated, but he sucked it up and he gutted through this fight. And at this point, these two are just trying to get to the finish line. And the finish line looks like a DDG resounding victory. The crowd is already cheering victory. He got a few more punches to seal the deal at the end of that fight. Thank you.